Hey everyone, how's it going? I really hope that you're staying safe and healthy. And if not, well, my friends, Lendi and Diego and myself have brought some tips on having a better nutrition in these times of quarantine. For starters, nutrition is a process in which living organisms obtain nutrients through food. A poor nutrition can lead to low immunity and low defense against illness, also an impaired physical and mental development. Some types of nutrients to have in mind are carbohydrates, fats, which are not exactly grease but a source, a source of energy, rubbish or fiber, uh, minerals, proteins, vitamins and water. These nutrients can be categorized as macronutrients or micronutrients. Macronutrients are carbohydrates, fats, fiber, proteins and water and are needed in relatively large amounts. Micronutrients are needed in smaller quantities, can be minerals and vitamins. And because not only because they are needed in larger or smaller amounts, but I mean they are not important. This isolation can cause us a lot of stress and anxiety, which cause us to end up eating a lot of sweet and processed food. We know that many of us have had poor nutrition in recent months. I usually eat many candies and processed foods. We must look for healthy and sweet alternatives. That is why we have decided to share this recipe with you, perfect for breakfast or dinner without added sugar and with plenty of protein, vitamins and minerals. The best thing is that it is an easy, healthy and very cheap recipe. Okay, let's make some nutritious hot cakes. We only need three ingredients, two bananas, two eggs and a cup of oatmeal. We start with the bananas. The first step will be to peel the bananas and with a fork we will squash them until we have this consistency. The second step will be to add two eggs. And we continue mixing very well until we have something like that. The third step will be to add the oatmeal. We will proceed to mix very, very well until we have this consistency. The next step is optional. You can add cinnamon to taste in a little baking powder. We mix a little more our mixture will be ready. Now we go to the kitchen. We are going to heat a frying pan and here I am putting a little olive oil. Now we add the mixture and cook over low heat and cover it after a minute we turn it around and voila continue with the process in total I got six hot cakes Now you can add the fruits you want.
I put some strawberries and grapes and in it and a little bit of honey and that's it. So after checking these healthy recipe that's only a part of what you can do, what you can eat during quarantine, and we want to check out also what is an example of a healthy diet. So on a healthy diet, you always need to have breakfast, that's the first step, have breakfast. First you need to start your day well. So you can start coffee with milk, eggs, bread, and finally you can eat some chopped fruit. Second step. The second part of a healthy diet is to have lunch. You need to have lunch and diner. You can continue your day with eating a salad for lunch, protein, either animal or vegetable. And maybe we could recommend eating chicken, meat or fish. And accompany that lunch with some rice and a fruit. And also for dinner, you should also include a protein, always in dinner. And, but this can also be the same as lunch. Uh, having salad, meat, rice, and fruit on a smaller portion. Finally, on your healthy diet, you need to have another step, a snack. You always need to have a snack because you're always hungry with meals. So you can eat a healthy fruit, uh, maybe a fruit with yogurt, uh, maybe you can eat some strawberries, but you have to remember to never eat in quarantine packaged fruits, sodas, or other packaging that are usually high in sodium, sugar, and saturated fat. So, to close this video about the nutrition that you can have during these quarantine times, we want to give you some tips and recommendations that we have made based on our own research and our own experience. Firstly, if you want to cook food, substitute some ingredients for healthier ones. For example, use oatmeal instead of wholemeal flour, stevia, natural foods, and mainly not processed. Also, the second tip that we can give you is that you can make delicious desserts with Greek yogurt and fresh fruits. As I said mentioned before, uh, you need to have snacks, so this option for snacks is perfect. The third tip that we want to give you is about using oil in your preparation. Replace it with coconut oil or butter. The next tip that we want to give you is you need to reduce the size of your portion, as well as limit your salt intake, try adding less salt into your preparations. This also goes for sugar, minimize your sugar consumption. If you want something sweet, go for fruit, they're really sweet. And the last tip that we want to give you is don't over it. Sometimes we feel hungry, we feel anxious, we feel like it, we need to do it, that we're hungry, when we're really not, when we just had lunch. So we're going to stop that. We are only going to eat when we need it. No more. So that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you want more information about the nutrition on quarantine days of how to survive uh, quarantine, you can check out our one drive manual uh, of how to survive quarantine, and you can check out more things about nutrition there. Thank you so much, and see you soon.